29% of people were in energy poverty between January of last year and April of this year. Uh, that's the highest since 1995. And what it basically means is people are spending, Shane, now more than 10% of their after-tax income on not on, on motoring fuel, but on home heating and electricity. So a huge chunk of people's incomes being spent now on energy. And I suppose we're asking uh, what can be done about it. And we did speak this morning to Dr. Barra Rowntree of the ESRI, co-author of the report, and he outlined what we should be thinking about doing. If that the goal is to protect those being worst affected, then doing things like cutting indirect taxes doesn't really make much sense. It's, it's a very poorly targeted way of, of getting that support to those who've been worst affected. So instead, what we point to is doing things like uh, like the fuel allowance, just the possibility of doing something that we do every year anyway, which is to pay you know, a Christmas uh, bonus style double welfare payment you know, in the autumn when those bills are landing in. And that really is quite a well-targeted way at, at those who are worst affected by the crisis. And you can b- combine that with other measures then, like the, the household electricity credit. There is a crisis here, there's no doubt about it, and people need to be helped. But Barra is, and, and his report, Kira is quite specific about this. He's saying, don't go for uh, across-the-board cuts in indirect taxes, whether it's on petrol or fuel or uh, home energy or whatever. He says that actually does not help. You need to help those who are most affected. And the way to do that is by uh, through social welfare. Even the household, uh, the much maligned uh, household electricity credit, he says that's a better way of doing it, uh, although not the ideal way, than cutting uh, taxes. I wonder will the will the opposition and the government listen to that because both well the government has has cut taxes. The opposition want them to do it even more. But may, maybe listen to the experts who say that is actually not going to help. Forty percent could be in fuel poverty. Uh, in the autumn, that's yeah, how bad yeah, the just, situation is. But you is. see, when you talk about that, Shane, forty percent being in in fuel, prov- in, in, in fuel poverty by the autumn, and when you talk about targeting the interventions so narrowly, you're going to leave lots of people in the squeezed middle who aren't going to be able to benefit from those interventions, and that will be hugely unpopular. Yeah, and you can kind of see why.